Regarde, je vois. Good morning. Good morning, good afternoon. Welcome back. Today we're out here mustering for tailing. So these are the singles where the singles have been lambing right out the back. Um, we're just going to yeah, slowly walk these up the hill. I've got to go up here, over the top, down the other side, and then into the yards or around the yards for the night and tailing tomorrow. Um, hill House is live, so if you want to have a look at that, it's Canopy Camping, The Grange, and yeah, there'll be a link in the description below. Some awesome photos if you haven't seen it on other social medias, Instagram and Facebook. Um, yeah, check, check them out too. So Kiwi Farmer NZ on Instagram and The Grange on Facebook is our farm page. So if you want to check them out as well, there's be more updates and photos and bits and pieces there. Um, I know it had a few bookings already, so we're pretty excited. That seems to be going really, really well. So uh, Didn't film anything last week, just hectic um trying to clean up and then yeah need a break so um it was nice to not worry about the camera it's um yeah so back into it this week and we've got some tailing hopefully get some grass in the ground uh sowing and yeah as long as the weather plays ball so use are moving along the ridge probably won't be able to see it in the gopro you use are moving along the ridge way up the top there um we had some up here they've gone over so yeah, we'll just make a bit more noise here and then move on up. But the broom and broom, the broom has really, really come away. That's the stuff here. Um, really come away this spring and with the wet summers that we've had. So one reason to get the water supply sorted, you know, that we have, and uh, one more fence. So that hill fence uh, line you can see coming down there. That's an expense I've got to do with the king hitter. Um, won't be doing that. That'll be Waratah, but we can get to the get halfway down there anyway with the tractor um yeah so we can try and use the use to control this broom snowy's had a good run didn't you right jasper So that's where we were down there. Come up the track. Got a few that were over that side. There's a U and two twins uh, that are still quite young. So we're gonna leave them there and tailing the twins hopefully later on the week. So we'll try and get her in then. Um, hopefully she mothers back up. And yeah, we've cleaned out all of this. We're all pretty good. So we'll jump onto the front side and uh, start moving those U's you can see there down that ridge. Righto Jasper, we've got to muster this face around there and down and then these ones here that have started to go that have come along there and down and they all end up down the bottom of this gully. So we'll make a bit of noise here and see what happens. Jasper? Go, 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 they wanted to go that way. That's right. It's all helpful. So we're halfway down the hill here. There's the side by side up there. And we're just waiting on these few ewes and lambs here just to go up onto the skyline there and through the gate. And then we'll get up and start hunting these down the fence line. Have to walk down into that scrub, push them down the fence line, make sure they all go. And this is a block we're looking at putting into pine trees. So probably put a fence along the track up here so there's a laneway through to the next paddocks but it's just a scraggly scrubby horrible paddock um, and it would make better financial sense to put it into trees so pine trees or, or something similar don't know yet um, yeah still gotta figure out what we're gonna do there I'm always thinking about how we can improve the farm and develop it and if what we're doing right now is 
potentially not the best use for the land. So, Congo is nearly there. Rightio, they're through the gate. Let's go and deal with those ones. Good thing about having these water troughs is you can give the dogs a drink here, top of the ridge, rather than them having to run down the bottom. Another benefit. Slowly wandering these down the ridge. Getting up with the other ones. Snowy, what are you doing? Right, caught up to the ewes. It's a pretty tight passage down the scrub, so we just have to let them take their time. Snowy. But yeah, like I said, these are the singles, so they're looking good. These are the twins over this side. We'll come in probably in the weekend. Trying to sort labour and help. So the mob must have made its way all the way down. We've still got some up here, but there's some way down the bottom on the flat. And they're starting to go through the creek, and through the gate, and find the rest of them, hopefully. It's not too bad. You let them take their time and um, keep them mothered up. If you mismother them, it can turn into a real circus. So, take our time. Snowy, take our time. And we're nearly down at the bottom. You can see them through there. What an act this has been. I didn't really need to get this sprayed. I'm gonna get up on me how bad this is coming through here. Because, Reed, good boy, good boy. Using the hidden dogs just to keep the lambs together. All this is gonna hurt. Right, since we're down here, we might as well go and shut the gate and then walk up the track somewhere. Go and have a drink. And since you're down here, dogs, you can have a drink in the creek. Look, he's already off over there. Hopefully, we haven't left anything up there. Right, got the gate shut. Whew, what an act. And we've got to walk up to the skyline, the saddle up there is where the side by side is. So. We'll get up there and get the side by side and then go around the other way and come down. I think there's one left in this lot. And then, uh, then have some lunch. Oh, and we'll be ready for tomorrow. Well, the ewes will be down, I've still got to set up for tomorrow. Got a few stragglers left in the paddock that we've got to come down on, so mustered all that other face apart from a few up there that came out of the scrub. The buggers blue, blue. Dogs are a bit naked, they haven't had much exercise. Blue, good oh boys. That's right, we'll get these run down. Hopefully, there they go. Hopefully, heading the right way. chasing them cows all the way down so they don't stop halfway down and hide in the bush. So as I was coming down the track peered over notice this girl's stuck in the muley and becky here. You alright love? We'll cut you out. Oh crikey easy does it. Don't go back in there, then further. You gonna make it? Alright, we've got her. Another reason for planting this block and trees. 
single use lambs all down here ready for tailing tomorrow. All right, let's go have some lunch, late lunch. So here in the crop paddock, our old cow paddock from uh, at home, home farm, um, and Oxford Ag are gonna come and sow it. So I've just got the seed on board here on the trailer. I'll just drop the trailer off. Um, it's about seven o'clock at night, so go home and make dinner for the kids. But this is what we're sowing. Uh, tetraploid mix, so it's from Berenberg. Um, yeah, some tetraploid ryegrass, um, some cox, not not cox, but tetraploid ryegrass, some red clover, some white clover, and some chicory. So that should be a pretty good brew. This paddock's uh, beautiful paddock, so nice soil. It's quite heavy, so it has taken a while to dry up, but it should really crank with this stuff. So yeah, shop this trailer, and then we might throw the drone up when he's um, when he actually gets here, and uh, see what he's doing from the comfort of home. So tailing times here. We've done one pen. Uh, yeah, so these are the singles that we got down yesterday. We've got uh, Jenna and Joe at the back there. Miller's giving us a hand, and yeah, just drafting these up. We'll pop you guys up here somewhere. earmarked it up there and we spray it. This big guy here, we're keeping 40 of these lambs as males to make with the hoggets. Did that last year, worked really well. So just giving them a different earmark. So this is an age mark. So we're giving them an age mark as well. Just to identify that they have still got their balls. I still ran lambs not weathered. Tailing them, give them a spray. <laughs> Tipper means they land on their feet. And then we go back to mum. So here's another good ring land. finished um, yeah usually looking not too bad lambs are looking great pretty stoked for lambs so we left 50 un, unringed so still entire what did we do today we did um, 
203 lambs, 222 ewes. So these are singles, so that's why there's uh, less survivability and whatnot. There's less um, lambs than there are ewes. So going to be doing twins later on the week. Just got to sort some labour and get all my ducks in a row for that. People in the hill house this afternoon, so these all go back into their paddock and be off the lane so we can keep the track open. Just out here doing my lambing bait, checking on the hoggets. These are the singles, nearly finished lambing. But yeah, they're right on top of their grass. It's, um, oh, with the lamb starting to eat and grass has been so slow, yeah. But, oh, well, it is what it is. We've got, um, we've got some nitrogen to go on here and then, yeah, as soon as they're finished lambing in a few more days, we can open it up into some other hoggets, lambing paddocks, which have got a bit more tucker in them. Rocks and eggs over there. They're just starting to drill. I had an issue with the drill last night. So he's got all that fixed up. We'll get seed in the ground. Then came a drill this afternoon. And um, one more job ticked off, which is good. I'm glad I did the tailing first thing this morning. She's getting warm. So just crossing the single lambs here across the road. They're finished in this rocket fuel paddock. We're going to run across the road and join up with the heifers over there. Hopefully this does all right and uh, they don't get trapped in the corner, the land, so. Blue! Cuz blue! Yes, please! Blue! Elfie! Elfie! Well, I go off <laughs> So these are the yearling heifers. Oh, most of them will go to the bull. There's a couple of a smaller one, and there's a steer in here that won't go to the bull. So they are uh, co-grazing now with these guys um, just to help pasture covers keep everything uh, lush or um, good quality and then also worm burden so with cattle cleaning on here they'll help uh, groom the pastures and reduce the, 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 the worm burden so we'll just open this gate up here and let these guys out So these lambs have got about another three weeks before our first draft. So we um, some stonking lambs in here though. All these ones with tails are the single ones. All the ones that have been tailed were uh, mainly multiples. So twins or triplets. Right, it's about five o'clock. We've got people coming into the hill house pretty soon for the first time for um, canopy camping so I just got to run a bit more stuff up there and um, make sure it's all set up for them so if you yeah once again if you um, want to check that out have a look links in the description canopy camping slash the Grange and uh, yeah we'll see you guys in the next video thanks very much for watching see you later